Hey there, Leo. Hope you guys' weekend was good to you. Appreciate you. Let's find out what the cards are saying for you. Coming out for your highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo. Tell me about Leo. What are we talking about? All right. Got children here. Money in, money out. Date night. Got some snakes here. Got a man frustrated because something didn't go as planned here. All right. Has to do with these circle jerkers is what I call them. Somebody was trying to pull you in an environment, play with you. It was somebody who was paid to come toward you with the date, but something didn't work out. Overall energy for Leo. Thank you. You've balanced. Something has to be balanced out in this situation here. While you had people coming up against you, trying to knock you off balance, you only came back more balanced in the situation here. Because you're happy, you're chilling, you're on the right path. And everybody's aware of this. So you are in this energy where you're just very dedicated to self and happy with self. And that is bringing more balance towards you because of this. Because you had some kind of snake that was planning on coming in to date you. A snake was paid to come towards you. You are attracted to people who serve your highest good. So this is very important to, to uh, remove ourselves from these past toxic connections that we've outgrown. We're making room for high value connections coming towards us. Your happiness is actually attracting better relationships towards you at this time here. Leo. And this is you just being this in freedom. Like you're just loving life, chilling, connecting with self, just out in nature, doing whatever makes you happy is what you're doing here. And this is this freedom looks good on you. And now you've got some new pathways opening up for you. Some beautiful positivity headed your way here. This is what your happiness is bringing you. So much just high vibing energy. I could feel it, man. It feels good. Like, beautiful. No more blockages in your way. And these blockages were in your way because of these relationships that were still connected to you. Now that you've removed them, you're able to move forward. Leo. Leo. Look at you. Going towards your good fortune. As I am grateful for all the good fortune I have, more blessings flow into my life. So you're, you're headed towards some really good wealth here for yourself. So I'm going to say it like this for you. All the money that was paid out to come up against you, it's coming back to you times 10. You're about to be blessed with all the money that was trying to take you out. You're about to be blessed with it times 10. Claim that. And that courage that you have... You are Leos. You represent the, the strength card in the tarot deck. So you're all about this inner strength. With strength from my higher power, I have the courage to overcome any challenge. And you do. And it's clearly showing that you come over anything. These people are like panicking because you were never meant to overcome this. Let me get a message for uh, Leo. Oh, thank you. Try not to dwell on the past or spend too much time worrying about the future. All it does is steal your joy and sense of inner peace. Concentrate on the here and now and enjoy every moment for what it is. You are creating new memories. So this is going towards your journey. Not wondering what's going to happen. Not trying to force or fit things to happen. This is just simply being and letting all the beautiful energy that is meant for you line up for you. Because it will. If it's truly yours, it's going to come towards you. The reason some people have walked away from you for no reason has nothing to do with you. They have been removed from your life because the universe is taking you next. They have already served their purpose in your life. Let them go and keep moving. Greater is coming. And this is exactly what you removed from your, your energy. These karmic connections. You're making room for some beautiful things here. Leo. My aura is magnetic to golden opportunities. Yeah, it is. It's what your happiness brings you. It makes... A lot of good things want to be fully attracted to you. That's why it's so important to do that healing work. And this is where you're at. You're attracting some very wonderful things. Whatever you're trying to attract, it's definitely attracted to you. And de definitely attracting good fortune towards you. There's no doubt about that. And you are not alone on this journey. You had to learn to fully connect with yourself to understand that I'm not really alone. I got a whole spirit team that rides with me, protects me, blesses me. You're not alone. People were banking off of you being alone by them leaving you behind, disconnecting from you. But this is where you stepped into your power. Leo. Leo. It's time to come home. And you had to find yourself through this whole process. And this is what you're doing. Activating that good fortune, that abundance, that prosperity, that happiness. This is what you're bringing towards you. Because you found it back within you. 
You're purifying yourself. You've had an ego death. You're not letting the ego get in the way anymore. You're not letting your ego tell you that you can't have this and you can't achieve this. This is like removing all of that low frequency thoughts and um, energy and mindset and just finding a lot of wonderful things in the process because of this. The great goddess. So this is like goddess energy, God energy that lies within you. This is understanding your true divine energy as well. There's like, man, two cards of referencing of you finding your way back to you. This was never meant to happen. And you found yourself. Beautiful. Tell me about this, children. Children. Okay, so first off, your inner child wounds were under attack. And for some of you, your own children had a hand in this. Trying to come up against you, trying to stop you. So this was meant to break your heart and stop you on your path as well, but you're still moving forward. There's a lot of deception circling around here. Tell me more. There's karma being served to someone's children here that got involved with this plan. And somebody thought by like getting your own children to come up against you and attack you was going to like knock you off your path and make you off balance, make you not happy. And this is like a relationship for somebody I'm picking up on that you had to disconnect from your children. These children are getting hit with their karma now. And then also, for the ones that don't resonate with these children here, they tried to attack your inner child wounds to pull you backwards. So you've had some toxic connections that stem from your childhood that were doing everything in their power to keep jabbing those wounds at you. You've changed. You outgrew those wounds. Those wounds are not wounds anymore. And they were definitely trying to target you, trying to end you, trying to stop you. And for some of you, your own children were involved with this. The, the, the sting of the kids betraying you was supposed to be like the ultimate takedown for somebody here. That didn't happen. You're making peace with it. You're accepting it. And you're moving forward as you should. Sometimes our these karmic energies follow us from a past life into this life. And they manifest in the form of a child here in this life. Doesn't mean that... You deserved it or you're a bad person because of what happened. It's just, it's part of the plan here. So just trust that and just detach, move forward. And boy, somebody tried to attack your inner child wounds. And there's judgment coming in for somebody's children here. Your awakening is what's waking you up to your wounds as a child as well. That is bringing balance towards you. Some of you could have had like um, someone that you had children with pull your children to, to the side, to side with them instead of you, and that was meant to hurt you and destroy you. Your ch somebody's children have a, had a choice to come up against you, and they chose wrong. Now they're under judgment. There's definitely like a masculine energy here, or it could be a feminine in the masculine energy as well, but somebody was like power tripping here. Trying to like steer something with your own kids. And then if it wasn't your children, they were trying to steer something with your inner child wounds. Somebody was trying to use money to pull the children to their side of the situation here. That didn't work. Well, it worked to pull the children towards them, but it didn't work, meaning it, it didn't take you out like the plan was. Somebody paid to attack your inner child wounds as well. There's a couple here. That was involved for somebody here that went hard to, to attack your the inner child wounds. Anything to hold you back was the plan. And some of you, your own children, were, were told to hold back. They were going to get something by doing this. And it was only meant to hold you back in this process, but you're still not being held back. You're still moving forward, as you should. All right. Tell me about this money in, money out. So much money paid over your head. Tell me about this. Yep, six of pentacles. It's money in, money out. Boop, boop. Balancing one way, going back the other way. All of this money that was paid out, I'm telling you, you're about to receive it times 10. You're about to be blessed for these people attacking you. There was so many people that had their hand out here, thinking they were going to get some money, including somebody's children here. Tell me more. Somebody made the wrong choice. That flipped over in reverse. Somebody's ex had their hand out trying to, to receive some kind of payment too by trying to take you out was the plan. And there was somebody that was meant to be sent your way to take you on a date, but this date never happened. Or if you did go on a date with this person, you saw through the facades and they weren't able to achieve something here. So there they are again. Power hungry, greedy, only cares about money. 
There's a man here out of some kind of power and authority that tried to pay money on your head and there's a, a woman here involved as well. And if it's not a couple, then this is someone that knows how to shapeshift into like their feminine or their masculine energy to achieve what they need to achieve as well. Somebody likes to step into that nurturing like, oh, I need this done. This person's awful. Like this is a, a very manipulative person or people that were involved paying money over your head. You're this loving, nurturing, caring, generous person. And somebody didn't want you to be looked at has that. This is what you're showing up as is Queen of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you're about to get paid and blessed for all the money that these people put out to take you out. And they were trying to hold you back. But all these plans were being held back. Now people are losing money. Nobody's getting a handout or a payout trying to stop you either. They're not getting nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anything to stop you from stepping into your full power was part of the plan here. You've got a very jealous, greedy, hateful energy here that was doing everything in their power to stop you. You cannot be stopped. Man, look at that power tripping energy. There's definitely a couple here involved for somebody. Definitely. Did everything they could to assert some kind of dominance and control over you. And it has to do with family members here. Exes. Man, there's a whole, uh, there's a very emotionally manipulative energies here that tried to manipulate something emotionally to, to get this payout to take you out. So am I stuck though? Something isn't working. Somebody wanted to slow down your finances as well. Guess what? These energies are now being slowed down. Their finances are being held at a halt here. Somebody was paid to come towards you with the love offer here. And this is somebody that's been slowly working up the, the, the courage to come towards you. And I'm saying courage because somebody knows you're not going to fall for it. Somebody could still be planning this. Because somebody wants to, wants to come towards you, but somebody was paid to approach you. So make sure you're seeing something for what it is here. Some of you, this could have already happened and you saw through the facade. Some of you guys, if this is getting ready to happen. Tell me about this date. Ace of Cups. That's somebody coming towards you with a love offer here. Some of you guys could have like something authentic coming towards you in the love department, but it's very important to make sure that somebody is not being fake towards you because I'm feeling that for somebody here. Somebody's paid to come towards you with the date. Tell me more. Yeah. Somebody here is trying to figure out how to get you to lower your guard. Some of you guys already went on a certain date in the past and somebody wasn't able to achieve this. That's for somebody. I keep picking that up. And then somebody's trying to come towards you with the date. And somebody's worried that you're going to see something for what it is. Make sure you're seeing it. Somebody was expecting you to lower your guard and just open up for dates. But a lot of you guys aren't doing this. You're very connected with yourself right now. Something was left out in the cold. Something's not going to work. Somebody's aware that these plans aren't working. I'm telling you, they have to walk away from this. Somebody knows that they cannot approach you. Because somebody was wanting to try to create some kind of like illusion. Finesse their way in was the goal here. Some of you guys are like manifesting a healthy connection. And somebody was trying to get in the way of your actual connection. Because somebody was called to, to, in this group, paid to come and date you, to stop you. But you're protected though, this isn't working. And some of you guys already been on a certain date and you already saw some kind of facade for what it is. Make sure you're putting your boundaries up with certain energies trying to approach you with dates. Not everybody's for you. Talking about the snake. Ooh, I just seen that seven of wands again. Or actually that was a six of wands. The snakes have been trying to get your attention. Talking about these snakes. Yeah, look, they've been trying to take action towards you. And there's some snakes here that were paid to, like, send black magic your way. And there's a snake that was paid to come towards you with a date as well. Somebody's been waiting on some kind of information to happen with this snake, but this snake isn't able to come forward. And the other snakes that were paid to attack you, they ain't getting the, the messages that they're wanting to. It's not working judgment for these snakes and these snakes are panicking because they're under judgment and they've been trying to hold you back 
hold something back. Some of you guys have some kind of judgment call coming in that has to do with this good fortune. And these snakes have been trying to slither and hold on to it tightly. They can't. Because they've been trying to hold you back. And there's this couple again that keeps showing up. These are some greedy, power-hungry people that are involved recruiting snakes because they're snakes themselves. And they've been trying to take you out. And some of you, it's your own family members. X is involved. But people are very much aware that they have to like proceed with caution because they can't achieve something here. They're stuck. They want you stuck. They're stuck. And there's definitely a snake still circling around somebody here trying to come towards you with the love offer. Because the plans that they've been trying to do in the past isn't working. It doesn't mean that they still won't try though. Tell me about this man. Why is he frustrated? <clears throat> Excuse me. Because he's a liar. That sword's down. He's a liar. He's bitter. He's cold. He has no empathy. He's a heartless mother effer. And this man said some kind of lies on you. And this man is like under some kind of pressure now because something is being uprooted. The truth is coming out. And he's panicking. He's frustrated. Tell me more. Tell me more. There's this woman here involved. So somebody wanted you to be looked at has this Jezebel spirit. This prostitute sleeps around. This narcissist is what somebody was saying that you were. Like a neglector, an abuser. That's not who you are. The person that said this about you, that's who they are. This man, frustrated, he could he be tied into with the woman here that's very much in a jealousy, narcissistic energy herself here. Trying to paint you in this energy. There it is right there, yeah. This is this couple. There's a man here in this couple that is falling to pieces here. Because this man's got some kind of inner rage and just hate in his heart. And this man was trying to send somebody to connect with you. Making it seem like they wanted something happy with you, but they didn't. They just wanted to play with you. They were paid to come towards you. Somebody doesn't like that you're exposing the, the true... Um, I'm going to call them characters because that's what they are. They play. They wear masks. You're exposing them and they're panicking. Especially this man. This man feels stuck. This man is able to move forward. This man is just very much at a halt right now. And this man is still trying to figure out how to get somebody to approach you. But what they've been trying to do isn't working on you. Because you're in this independent energy. Fierce. Bold. Happy. Healthy. Thriving. And everything is very magnetized with you right now because you're in this magnetizing energy and this man tried to end you paid death spells and it, he was involved with the death spells whether he paid them had lied on you this man tried to end you stop you now this man's worried about be and being ended this man could he be worried about death knocking at his door this is not to be played with here I've got air, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, air, earth, Gemini, Aries, earth, water, fire, Leo, fire, fire, air, and fire here. So much ego with these people here. Leo. So you're ready to receive a happy, healthy connection. And somebody was paid to get in the way of your true person here. Somebody was also ready to receive money by trying to come towards you and court you but they didn't really want anything with you. They only wanted to like destroy you in the process to get in the way of an actual connection that you're manifesting here. Tell me more. You've got a loyal companion manifesting for you. If somebody has tried to get in the way of this. You guys hear noise, my cat's eating. Somebody's stuck at a crossroads here because the plan that they were trying to do isn't working on you. And you've got these miracles unfolding for you. That's another reason they're panicking. Blessings are surrounding you. Luck is on your side. Everything's working out beautifully for you. And everybody's aware. Somebody was hoping that they could have like come towards you with some kind of communication right now. And other energies here are worried about communication coming in for you. You're this healer. You're powerful. You restore yourself. You know how to heal yourself. In order to become the healer, you had to heal yourself. And this is what you've learned. You had to be broken down to build back up. Born a healer, waking up to who you are, just stepping fully into your power here. And this was never meant to happen. Tell me more. You're a natural leader. You're meant to stand out. You're meant to stand in this leadership role. And they didn't want this for you. 
You stand out from the rest. You command attention when you walk into a room. There's this union that's manifesting for you. Oh, this person. You're going to rule this person's heart space here. Tell me more. Some of you guys, this person's already watching you. Admires you. Some of you have other admirers watching you that aren't for you. So use your discernment. <clears throat> Excuse me. You've got some obsessive eyes on you. Everybody that was involved trying to take you out is obviously watching. They're obsessing. They thought you was going to be operating in addictions, poor habits, codependency wounds, abandonment wounds for some of you. But you're not. You've restored yourself. You've healed. And oh, everybody's aware of this. This wasn't meant, supposed to go like this. And there they are, these freaking narcissists. This, this card's been showing up in all the readings, practically. Narcissists, they're superficial. They're vain. They don't care about anybody but themselves. They don't see anything wrong with their actions. They, they'll try to like, well, I wouldn't have done that if they wouldn't have done this. They don't take accountability. These narcissists are evil. They're sadistic. They're demonic. And somebody was definitely trying to send another narcissist your way. A very superficial, vain energy. A lot of you guys are equipped to deal with these narcissists because you've already been through a lot of narcissistic, narcissistic relationships. Some of you guys had narcissistic parents. You either become a narcissist yourself or you become like not what you want to be. Like you don't want to be like the narcissist. And that's who you are. You can't stand narcissists. I call myself a narc slayer myself. I can't stand narcissists. They're evil. They're sick. They're twisted. They live false lives. They have a lot of dark, hidden skeletons in their closet and if you try to pull them out and expose them oh they will try to destroy you that much more for it don't be scared of narcissists they're little broken insecure low self-esteem babies that didn't receive love from mommy or daddy so that's why they are the way they are okay we're not going to entertain these Ooh, I about cuss we're not going to entertain these assholes i still cussed <laughs> this is who they are angry mad at the world hate themselves they perceive themselves as do-gooders in the community but they're not they're they're hateful they're evil and you got some narcissistic people or full-blown narcissists involved that are mad as hell but they couldn't pull you down because that's what they wanted to do they're mad at you how dare you how dare you move forward how dare you be happy how dare you attract everything that you want how dare you i can't have it you can't have it that's how narcissists think and then they form smear campaigns they can't, a narcissist can't control you. They'll try to control how everybody else looks at you. That's what they do. So this is a bunch of people that had, you know, their, their name in your mouth, talking, gossiping. Something didn't work. Somebody here was trying to say something about like a divorce was your fault. A falling out was your fault. Somebody tried to blame you for everything, but it's actually the narcissist here. You're tapping into your creative energy. And old oh, narcissists are even jealous of your creative talents because they ain't got them for themselves. How dare you have creative talents? You step in that beautiful energy that much more for yourself. F these people. You're attracting your soul family towards you, as you should. No more toxicity for you. You're, you're ready to receive some beautiful things for yourself. Attracting your people. And you've got some eyes studying you. Some of you got your actual person you're meant to go in union while watching you right now. And then... You got a bunch of narcissists studying you right now still. Because somebody's still trying to come your way. And this is what you're going towards. That illuminated path. On the right path. New beginnings headed your way. This is what you got manifesting for you. Man, these narcissists are circling around you. Big time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Leo. There's a woman here that has been paying money out to stop you. Somebody doesn't want you to step into this boss energy because you're meant to be the boss. And this woman's threatened because by you stepping into this boss energy, she's going to get dethroned because something isn't rightfully hers anyways. It's yours. Tell me more. This is a lonely road. We got to embrace it. Live it. Be it. Accept it. And just continue pushing forward. Understanding when all of these toxic karmic relationships get removed... Yeah, it's going to get a little lonely, but you're never really alone, though. You're not great leaders don't roll in big clicks and packs. So this is like understanding, OK, I'm good with this. I'm only going to keep it pushing. And then the right people that are meant for me, they'll come. And I'm not going to try to connect or force. I'll know when my people show up. Tell me more. 
Okay, so there's people getting attacked right now. Somebody was trying to astro protect to you. Make sure that you're cleansing your mirrors, protecting your mirrors. And if you got a mirror in your bedroom facing your bed, make sure you cover it because that's how people can attack you. So cover that up or just get rid of the mirror in your room altogether. Someone else is getting attacked. People are just getting attacked. They're experiencing what they wanted for you now. Tell me more. You're the chain breaker. Everything that was meant to stop you only made you stronger in the end. And somebody's children definitely had a hand here. And then somebody was trying not only att to attack your, your, ch your child wounds, but they were trying to attack your, your inner teenager wounds. Your inner teenager is pissed off at the world. Wants to seek revenge and fight everybody. We're not doing that. We're going to heal those wounds as well. Because when we, when we give into that negative energy towards narcissists, they feed off of that as well. We're not going to give them that beautiful energy of yours. Somebody is losing out, losing jobs, losing opportunities. And there's energies here that have, like, like on payout, payroll, try to take you out. They're like, man, I don't want to do this anymore. This isn't working. I'm, I'm done. That you were supposed to tuck her out and quit. You're not giving up. You're a freaking fighter. And there's somebody scared and aware why their life's falling apart. There's a feminine here that's shaking in her boots. Scared. Tell me more. You've been changing the environment. So many things have been trying to keep you stuck in certain environments. And you keep busting out of those environments because you're not meant to stay in them anyways. Somebody was trying to like pull you in a certain environment to make it to achieve something here. Somebody was hoping you'd go into an old environment to achieve something here, but you're no longer connecting with certain environments because you've outgrown them. Somebody could have said that you were gay. Somebody tried to say something about your sexual identity that was a facade. That's being aired out. There's somebody here that has some kind of hidden gay tendencies here, and I'm not shaming or judging anybody's sexual orientation. I'm just reading the cards. So somebody here is hidden. They're gay. And this is somebody that wanted to project something onto you. Now they're about to be exposed. And they are nervous. Narcissists are usually gay. Like male narcissists, if their mother was um, not there for them or a narcissist themselves. Oh, narcissists. A male narcissist will try to seek and destroy women. That's why they connect with other men. So this is like what narcissists do. There's a hidden gay narcissist or narcissist involved in the mix here. And they're being exposed. And there's your copycat here. So there's a copycat here that is claiming to be you. And she's attached to your good fortune and she doesn't want to let it go, but she's going to have to let it go because it's not hers anyways. So this copycat's being exposed. This copycat wanted to say you're the copycat. Again, every time I see this, copycats don't work so hard to convince everybody else you're the copycat if they're not the copycat. That is a projection of the copycat. Tell me more. Angry. Look, she's angry, ho. <laughs> she angry how dare you how dare you not be stupid and naive and gullible <laughs> you're not she's angry she's being exposed for the true narcissist because she wanted you to be looked at in this bad lighting <laughs> some of you guys just know how to play dumb to achieve things as well and that pisses this one off that much more <laughs> ha ha mother effer ha ha and she's pissed off because you're tapping into this energy as well. This copycat's been siphoning your energy, siphoning your finances as well. And this is who you are, tapping into this beautiful energy, this powerful energy for yourself. Tell me more. That's why they've been trying to inflict so much pain and trauma onto you, even using somebody's kids here. And it was all meant to stop you from tapping into your true power. And you're still tapping into it. Good for you. You tap into it that much more. Someone want to distract you from yourself, distract you from your good fortune, distract you from love. None of this is working. Tell me more. You're too smart for these people. Way too smart. And you had people thinking they were going to outsmart you, and you come back showing them who's really boss here. You are. Somebody's trying to attack your business. Now someone else's business is under attack. So whoever got involved trying to mess with your business... Oh, theirs is not going to grow and flourish. They're not going to do good for trying to mess with yours. Look at this. God has his hand on you. He's not playing about you. You're so protected. And you've got some churchy people here that wanted to take you out, calling you a facade. You're not a facade at all. The church people are. They're the ones. 
I never understand why church people want to gossip. Church people are the most judgmental people. That's why I don't go to church. Religion is about division. Why do you think there's so many different religions? And if you don't believe in this or that, you can't be in this religion. And I don't understand religion. I believe in God. I know there's a God. But this religion is for the birds. So you've got some churchy people here that are hiding behind churches. But these are the people that are sending you witchcraft. And they're attacking you. And they're wanting you to take yourself out. Unalive you. you got thieves. Sex workers and just rituals and just all of this is tied in with these churchy people so make that make sense make it make sense somebody don't want to go to jail somebody's trying to get you locked up get you in trouble take you out was what the plan was this isn't working other people are now going to jail that's why this man over here is nervous there he is depressed <clears throat> sad worried about getting in trouble miserable and this is what they wanted you to be in this energy depressed falling apart this isn't who you are. This is what's happening to these people. You're doing things more healthier now. Doing things in, in all areas of your life more healthier now. You're no longer beating yourself up and using like coping mechanisms to like run from your pain or mask your pain. You are showing fully up as yourself and you are healing that pain. So things that you once needed to mask your pain, you don't need it anymore. Somebody wanted you to be looked at as a prostitute. Throw you in the sex trafficking ring. Get you kidnapped. Because they already labeled you as a prostitute. You're not a prostitute. Somebody knows that their time is up. And everybody thought that they were going to create like this, this bad energy for you. And then snoop around and see if it was going to work. It's not working. Now you got a man here wanting to act naive and clueless. Somebody was, somebody's been snooping around on you. Somebody wanted to come forward. Make it seem like they wanted something with you. But they don't. This is like a stalker that's been lurking in the background. And then they were only going to pull away and retreat after they achieved what they needed to achieve against you. And it was meant to make you look bad or, or get you kidnapped. Get you down alive yourself. Get yourself locked up in the psych ward. Whatever they needed to do was what the plan was with these people. Leo. Yeah, someone wanted to put drugs in your drink. Someone could have said you were on drugs. Someone could have been trying to plant drugs on you even. There's like been a lot of sinister plans against you. And this still could be happening. So keep your boundaries up at this time. Tell me more. Gossiping. Everybody thought they were going to have a good old time gossiping. And just grab that popcorn and sit back and watch you fall down on your face. That's what narcissists do. They get sick pleasure off of hurting people. So... Guess what? Goss, like Narcissists, they can't handle their, their self-images in, being destroyed. This is what's going to happen to these narcs now. They're about to go down, and boy, they ain't liking where they're going. Somebody was hoping you'd make a bad choice, and somebody was trying to cast judgment because of the bad choices you've made in the past here. Like these people ain't made no bad choices. But they want to shame you. Don't let them do that. That's what narcissists do. Narcissists have a lot of sick, twisted, hidden things in their own closet embarrassed that they'd be shamed and that's why exposing narcissists it makes them fuck Ooh, i just cussed it makes them afraid and they'll seek to destroy you that much more because of it don't don't back down from these idiots tell me more somebody's going through bank failure somebody's losing some money somebody was trying to freeze your money up now theirs is getting frozen up somebody's business is going downhill for trying to mess with yours too and you're over here claiming what's what's yours as you should Standing up for yourself. No longer letting these neglectors or these abusers run over you anymore. These narcissists, they'll get 10 steps ahead of you and they'll tell everybody how you neglect them, you abuse them. But it's them doing it to you. That all comes out. The truth always comes out. Somebody wanted to keep you a secret. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Somebody was paid to come towards you in secret, keep you a secret, and then do what they needed to do to... Uh, to get this payout. Or they could have already been paid. And it was all meant to break you. Make you fall into pieces what the goal was. So many things have been, been sent your way to attack you. Connections been sent to like just break you. You can't be broken. You're a fantasy that somebody's been trying to fulfill here. So somebody looks at you as this fantasy that they need to fulfill. 
And somebody was connected to someone else still trying to come towards you. So somebody wanted to make you look a certain way by them still being connected to someone else. That's that circle jerking group. So this person was in a relationship already, but they were gonna they were paid to come towards you. Hoping you'd get in your feels. And then they could sleep with you sexually, siphon, siphon that powerful energy of yours, and then like plant some evidence on you to make you look a certain way is what the goal was. Well, they wanted you to be looked at as this is promiscuous, because that's what these people already said about you. Opens your legs for anything, sleeps with people, gets paid for it. Somebody's got a promise that they're trying to keep here. And somebody's still trying to figure out how to do this against you. So keep your guard up at this time because somebody is still plotting and scheming against you here. I don't like this. Leo. Somebody's trying to return after ghosting you. Ooh, I just saw a flashing light. Man, I've been seeing those a lot today. Okay. Somebody's trying to ghost you. Like they want to return only to ghost you again. And it's, and it's like they were trying to send like a new ghosting energy your way to like, again, to like trigger traumas in you is what their goal was. And this is what they were trying to send to you. Labels are so overrated. No, thank you. A lot of you guys have dealt with these types of energies already. We all see through that bull crap. But somebody here is in a contract with somebody. There's a death that's going to be happening for somebody here. Somebody's nervous about a death. I can feel their energy. They're nervous. Tell me more. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. This is all going to make sense. Even when things get a little uncertain, uneasy, like why is this happening? Don't question it. Continue leading by faith. Everything is always working out for you. You've got to trust and believe that. Somebody's ex is trying to return. Don't let them back around. Somebody was hoping you were going to fall for some kind of love bombing tactics. But you should be very well equipped with um, love bombing tactics since you've already went through this for somebody here. Somebody was hoping that you were going to fall for something. You're the beauty and you've got some admirers here. So you've got people like, I'll do it. This, this one's attractive. I'll come towards them. I'll sleep with them. They, they, they like the way you look. So it's very important not to let anybody just have access to you. You're a looker here. So you don't have to, like, you can have anybody you want. And this is understanding who you are and the beauty that you have, not only on the outside, but internally. You can have anybody you want. So this is understanding your worth and your value and not settling for less anymore until that right person comes your way because a lot of you guys are manifesting union with somebody here at this time. And we're working to find our magic again. You've had so many energies trying just to dull your magic. You're built for magic. You're meant to embrace it. You're meant to learn it about yourself. And this is the energies that have been trying to come towards you. And they're still trying to do this. These are some misogynistic men trying to approach a feminine here. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh-huh. You should be equipped to see these wolf in sheep's clothing. Because you've dealt with them already from your past here. And if you can't see it yet, pull back until you can. Well, somebody wants to come towards you in a passionate way. Making it seem like they want something sincere with you. But they don't. And your light attracts... Broken people, it attracts narcissists. They, they seek to, to dim your light, take it out altogether. So we're going to protect this beautiful energy of yours. And a lot of you guys will notice that you have past people trying to return. It's because of this beautiful light of yours. Of course, you're going to attract good things towards you because of this light. Absolutely, you will. But you're also going to attract darkness. And you've got to use your discernment what's good and what's bad. And if you don't know yet, pull back until you do know. Who the heck is that person? That's what everybody's looking. I'll I'll take the payout. I'll go towards this person because again, you're you're somebody very important. You you just you have this magnetic spark of energy around you, and everybody is like wanting access to this energy. And it's important to just stay to self until you feel like you're ready to to open up for certain people. And again, if you don't, if you're not sure, pull back until you do know. You are never truly alone. And this is what people wanted you to feel alone, but you're not alone. You're chilling. You're good. <clears throat> Excuse me, Leo. Tell me about these people. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. Leo. There's that couple there. I felt them. These are some very... Ooh, these are narcissists. Ego heads. Power. Control. Take you out. This, this couple's awful. 
And somebody was connected. Somebody is connected to somebody else trying to come towards you as well. So see something for what it is. Tell me more. This came in reverse. So somebody has some plans to ask you to a party, a certain environment, but that didn't work. The plan isn't working. Somebody was going to like perform a ritual on you. They could have already tried to perform a ritual on you. The ritual didn't work. That's why they're trying to send somebody physically your way now. Tell me more. You've been watched. Been kept a close eye on here. And I'm not telling you this to, to make you paranoid. But you got some people watching you wherever you go. So if you feel like you're being watched, it's because you are. Put your boundaries up. Use discernment. Always pay attention to your environments, your surroundings. Tell me more. Somebody is trying to come in here and have an affair with you, but they make it seem like they want something with you, and they don't. Now, somebody's past person lied on them and said that you stepped out and had an affair on them, but it was them stepping out on you. So, oh. tell me more. Somebody was trying to use some kind of mind control tactics with you. Somebody was trying to send some kind of witchcraft your way, trying to control your mind, and some of you guys may resonate with being in the MK Ultra program as well. All about mind control. Your mind cannot be controlled. That's why they didn't want you to fully step into your power because when you were vibrating at a low frequency, they could control your mind. They can't control it anymore. You're fully in your power. And somebody was trying to do something in a hotel room with you. Somebody could have been, and they still could be trying to do this. Get somebody to come towards you, date you, and then pull you in a hotel room and then do what they need to do. Kidnap you, videotape you, blackmail you. Is what the plan was. Tell me more. Trying to make it look like a crime of passion. I can't make this stuff up. They said don't shuffle anymore. Okay. Try to try to make it look like a crime of passion is what the goal is. And they're still trying to do this. Somebody's trapped. Somebody wanted you trapped. Try to get you in trouble. They're trapped. And your family's involved with this plan. And they, they hired an accomplice to go after you. Somebody's in regret because they're being exposed here. Somebody's panicking here. These plans are all backfiring on these people. Leo. Somebody tried to silence you. Try to send attacks to your throat chakra. You open up and you speak your truth that much more. You're a true speaker. Somebody said too much in order for something to take action. And now somebody's in this quietly contemplating energy here because they opened up and they said too much at, at, at one time and they're regretting saying too much. Tell me more. Greed. This is what these people are on a thirst for greed. That's all they care about is greed, money. That's what narcissists do. Tell me more. You've relieved yourself from toxicity as you should. And that's why you've got some toxic people mad as hell because you're not dealing with their bullcrap anymore. Somebody tried to create some kind of setbacks, wanted you to go backwards. Now they're going backwards. They didn't expect for you to move on. They wanted to make it seem like they were moving on from you. And now you're moving on and you ain't looking back. And now they can't handle this. Tell me more. Somebody was given some warning signs not to do what they were doing. But they still went forward. And now they can't get out of it. They went too far down the road. And you're a sexual goddess, man. This is why somebody wanted your energy. They know that you're powerful. And they want access to this sexual energy of yours. Because they can siphon it. They've been already been trying to do sex rituals on you. To siphon your energy. It's not working. That's why they got to send somebody physically to get next to you. Protect your sexual energy. You've learned to save yourself. And that's what narcissists do. They, they save themselves. They'll throw everybody else under the bus to protect themselves. That's what narcissists do. So you've got somebody trying to come back around here with an apology, trying to save themselves. Don't let them back in. Because this is what they're worried about, judgment. Somebody's worried about this judgment call coming down on them, and it's coming. These people all took a risk, thinking they were going to get the reward. They ain't getting nothing. You have went towards your rebirth here. You're going towards new chances. You've recovered yourself. You've healed. Somebody's trying to come back around and make it seem like they've had a rebirth energy, but don't let this person back in. Somebody's trying to seek revenge on you still. Somebody's mad that you're living your best life and you're not falling for any tactics. And this is why they're still, the past is trying to reconnect and then the whole new energy has been trying to, to connect with you. It's all about revenge. And these people project their own hate and insecurities onto you, onto others, to get others to look at you in a bad lighting. And now some, there's a narcissist here, or several narcissists, 
worried about their own images being exposed. And this is their karma. You've healed from the past and everybody's heartbroken because they expected you to stay heartbroken so they could continue beating you down and stopping you from tapping into that very powerful energy that you have for yourself here. These people's days are numbered. Leo. Somebody wanted to paint you out as a thief. Someone could have said that you stole from them. The actual thieves are being exposed. That's what narcissists are. There's definitely a couple here that is holding on to something that belongs to somebody here, which is you for someone. Tell me more. It's money. It's all about money with these narcissists. They've been paying out money. You're about to receive everything that these people have paid out against you. Times 10, you're about to receive all kinds of blessings here. Keep hustling. Staying on your A game. This is what you're doing. And oh, everybody's aware of this. Because they tried to stop your finances. They can't. It's only going up that much more. Somebody wanted to say that you're a fake flexor. That you act like you have more than what you do. But that's who narcissists are. They perceive themselves as like. They have to have like the best of the best. So society accepts them. And, and looks up to them. And honors them. And puts them up on this pedestal. That's what narcissists want. You're not like that. You don't need to fake flex. You like what you like. You're not trying to show off for anybody, but the narcissist is. Somebody is trying to, again, pay people to attack you based off the lies that were said about the narcissist. And now the narcissist is being exposed and they can't handle it. So somebody's trying to get back in. So somebody wants to get back in after they try to sabotage you. Don't let this person back. Somebody's going broke. And somebody knows that you're receiving a lot of blessings when it comes to your finances. And you got a dangerous, toxic, unhealthy karmic energies. And a lot of you guys dealt with these karmic energies all around. And all the connections that you've dealt with. And they wanted to, to paint you out as this. That's not who you are. That's who they are. Somebody's been looking through your comments. Trying to, to gather some information here. Someone could have been leaving hate comments where you're posting. Ignore that. Oh, Somebody here wanted to say that you're an opportunist. That you use people for money. Mm -mm, that's what narcissists do. So, uh, you know, I never understood why some men will say that us women are gold diggers when you don't even have gold to dig, sir. So make that make sense. So, somebody was hoping that they, you would, like, connect with them sexually here. And they're mad because, you, why won't you just do it? Why don't you do it? Somebody, like, and somebody's past person is trying to come back only to connect sexually with you. And this is somebody that's holding on a nasty grudge with you. We're not holding on to any grudges. We're we're living our best life. We're happy. We're chilling. And boy, somebody's pissed off because they cannot force. They can't force you to do what they want you to do. Or you're not going to. They hate on your power. You're powerful. They can't take you out. They didn't want you to understand your true power. Now you're understanding it. And now everybody's like nervous as hell. That's why they're trying to send somebody your way still. Leo. Somebody's trying to get a new beginning here with you, trying to create a fantasy. Don't let them do that because you're lining up with your blessings right now. Don't let them come in here and mess with you. And then somebody was paid to come towards you, create some kind of fantasy, only to run from you. And somebody's past person could be doing this as well. Tell me more. You've healed and you're not looking back. And now you've got somebody trying to come back and heal something with you or tell you that they've been healing. They've been working on themselves. They have not. And if they have, that's good, that's great. Go do it like you, like we had to by ourselves. I bet you they won't like that answer. Tell me more. Karma is studying in for these people. All the good energy that you've been putting out is coming back to you. And all the nasty energy that these narcissists have been putting out, it's coming back to them. That's that balance that has to be restored here with the situation. Somebody here is like trying to come towards you with hidden motives. Trying to make it seem like they ain't... Trying to take you out. Whether it's a new or a past person here. Somebody wanted to reject you. Make you feel abandoned. Try to open up a wound again. Or try to create more like triggers and wounds. But you've healed. You've restored. This isn't going to work. These people are... These people are awful. These people have cursed themselves. All of this nasty energy that they've sent your way. Hexing you. Cursing you. They're all experiencing this energy now. Somebody was trying to perform some kind of rituals on you at Halloween even. That's all catching up with these people. You're growing. Finding yourself has made you grow more. Focusing on yourself has made you find yourself more. 
and all that negative, dark, sick, sadistic energy that they tried to throw on you, it only made you grow more. So, and you're a looker. Not only can people, people can't stand your beauty, but they can't stand your, like, your achievements. The way that you can create things for yourself. They hate on you for that. That's what narcissists do. Narcissists don't pick people that don't have anything at all. They pick people that have things like beauty, like goals, visions, dreams. And then they get in there and they slowly start taking it away from you. That's what narcissists do. And they get sick pleasure off of that. So, you cut some obsessive eyes on you. Some of you, your actual person could be watching you right now. I keep getting that for somebody here. But you got some obsessive eyes on you that just think that you they like the way you look. And you got some people trying to come towards you, but like all they can do is obsessively spy because any plan of somebody trying to come towards you, they get removed. Because you got some mask wearers here that are circling around you, past and new. And you got a past person trying to come back and play the victim. See that for what it is, because they're wearing a mask still. That's what narcissists do. And somebody is very what very much aware that this time is running out. They're conflicted. Because you're not abandoned like they wanted you to be. And they can't come up with new plans to make you feel abandoned. And they stressed. Oh, they stressed. Because these mixed signals that they were trying to, to bring your way isn't working. And you are just moving forward. They thought by pushing you away, blocking you, would create some kind of stagnancy within you. They realizing it ain't working. There's a mask on here that's life is falling apart here. Because he's realizing that you're not sinking in despair like he was wanting you to. Other people are. This mask one is. They tried to break you. You cannot be broken. Doesn't mean that they're still not trying to come in here and break you still. So make sure you're using your discernment at this time. Because I'm not trusting these snakes here. I, I keep picking up like negative energy trying to approach you. So... All right, beautiful Leo, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Wednesday.